Hi everyone, it's Andy and I'm back with a new tutorial video. Today we're gonna be making this super easy key fob wristlet. Super easy to make, also very fast. And if you're making a lot, they're quite inexpensive. So what are the things that we need for making these key fobs? First of all, we need the hardware, which you can get on Amazon. They like this. Um, they are most commonly um, found in one inch um, size. The width is one inch. And you can get a kit that comes with the, um, forgot what this is called, pliers. And also a all-purpose glue strong adhesive okay that's just an extra i mean you don't have to use it but i, I like i like to have a bit more um security for for my products anyway um we'll need scissors or rotary cutter for cutting your fabric uh of course fabric of your choice and also um, your ruler, cutting mat. Um, you can totally skip the cutting mat and rotary cutter. You can just, um, you know, cut using the scissors. And here I have this um, heavyweight fusible fleece, 973F from Pelon. Uh, it's one sticky side and the other one's not. So this is an iron on heavy duty stabilizer or interfacing just to give it a bit more um, body because if you don't it'll just be very thin and this way just feels a bit be better um you can use even um batting or fusible batting if you have if you don't have you can you totally use the batting non-fusible now we're gonna cut um, because our key fob is one inch wide, then we have to make sure that our um, the width of our wristlet is also one inch. So let's use our ruler. Oh, you need an iron too. I will be showing you how I use my new um, heat press uh, today, which is super cool, guys. I know I've made a video before for my heat press, but I've got a new one. So stay tuned. So let's cut our fabric first. Now we need, I like my wristlet to be not super long actually um wanted a bit shorter than this anyway so this is about um six six inches six inches long so that's 12 inches total but i'm gonna shorten it a little bit so we're gonna cut um 5.55 11 inches or even 11 uh i mean 10 inches that would be fine a sec okay i just realized i can just use my electric cutter from vivor turn that on. safety up turn it on and before i do that i'm gonna cut four and a half inches wide so any length at the moment i just folded my fabric and one two three four four and a half Another I actually need to make a lot of these for a party. One, two, three, and a half. Two, three, four. 
I need to at least make 80 pieces of these. Okay, I've put them all, stacked them all together, and I can just include the salvage, that's fine. It's gonna be hidden with the hardware later anyway, like here, which is okay. Right, so I'm gonna do 11 inches um, here, Got 11 inches right here. So that's the length of my key fob. So again, I'm going to be using my rotor, uh, electric cutter because um, with this so many layers, it will be very hard for just the rotary cutter. Again, this is six inches. So this will be 5.5, which is perfect. Okay. So I'll go ahead and cut all my fabrics. I just put something on here. Bit of a weight. Okay. There we go. I love this cutter because you literally don't put any pressure and it just, you know, when you do a lot of cutting, it's you know it's tiring and hurts your arm okay now we'll do 11 oops 11 inches just that one Okay, and there are the X's. Really good. Got a lot from this. So let me just count this. This is enough, then I'll go ahead and start sewing. Oh, we need to put this stabilizer. Okay, now I've got all my interfacing. I cut them one inch by 11 inches. And um, here's all my fabric. Now, I fold um, one fabric this way on the right side and then crease, you know, you can even, um, you can even iron it to make sure that you find the, the center. And then on the iron or the sticky side, put it down in the middle. And then because this is going to go fold like this one and then another then finally just like this see and then we'll just um stitch both sides and then that's it it's, it's super easy so now first of all i'm gonna go on my heat press to press these um and i'm gonna do a lot at the same time so I'm going to show you my new heat press. Here is my new heat press. So it's automatic. I've already turned it on. There's the control for the time and the temperature. And now let's try. So I'm going to put one there. It's BP. 
one there, and get one more. one right there and then and then I just press it it automatically just goes down and isn't that super cool super 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 cool because um, do you, if you remember my old heat press I actually need to press it really hard and <laughs> that actually if you do that a lot it's quite painful it's very dusty now oh it's done and it automatic automatically goes up so let's see if it's done a good job yeah perfect so crispy delicious there you go so it does a really good job um, and I'll do that for um, the next couple hours, maybe. So how do you do it with um standard iron so put it down and then fold one in just like that and then start pressing and then one There you go, that's done. Okay, so look at my new heat press. It's got super cool um, controls. So you just twist it and change the settings and the time. And you can press this. And then it goes down. And of course, this is from Vivor, tough tools, half price. Check them out at vivor.com for more information and go and get yours. This heat press is not only great for stabilizers or interfacing, they're also great for t-shirt printing, which they're specifically made for actually. Um, but yeah, I don't really print a lot of t-shirts, so I do a lot of stabilizing. So yeah, it's perfect for my purpose. nice to have um, the walking foot so it feeds evenly under your foot if that makes sense um, but you know otherwise if you don't have it that's fine just 
slowly go through and make sure you iron it before you um, put it under your machine. Okay, and now we're just gonna fold it in half and then do a top stitch right at the end. Make sure you align them properly. And that's it. We just need to put the hardware and we are done. Isn't this super easy project? Perfect for your kids, teenagers who are, you know, who wants to learn how to make um, or how to sew. Let's do the fun bit. So we need it to be like this. We grab our hardware. And we just remove that ring for a bit. And so what I do is I open this up. I now prepare this and put it inside. And then lock it. So it's in place. Yeah, so it's locked in place. Okay, so it stays like that. And now with my glue, I just apply a bit of glue in the hardware, just right there. And now put your thing in, make sure it's in the middle. And then press. There you go. Now I do a bit of more pressing. That's it. Now you've got your wristlet thing. That's not going anywhere. So it's perfect. Does it fit in my wrist? Definitely. So yeah, super easy to make. There you go. I'm going to go ahead and do all the 80 plus um, of these. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, check out vivor.com. Check out their products. You might like some of them. They're very affordable um, machines that you can get. And yeah, thank you. I hope you have a lovely day. And I'll see you next time.